Here is the situation as it stands on Monday, December 12. Heavy fighting in the country's east and south continued unabated, while drone and missile strikes on key power infrastructure kept many Ukrainians in the cold and dark. Russian forces continued with attempts to break through Ukrainian defenses, training tank and artillery fire on 26 settlements near Avdivka and Barknet in the east. The Russian installed authorities said a missile attack killed two people and injured 10, while the exiled mayor of the city said many invaders were killed. Ukrainian forces attacked a hotel town of Kodiika, where members of Russia's private Wagner military group were based, killing many. The port of Odessa is not operating after the latest attack on the region's energy system. The United States is prioritizing efforts to boost Ukraine's air defenses. President Joe Biden told President Volodymyr Zelensky. Turkish president discussed the Black Sea Grain Export Agreement with the leaders of Russia and Ukraine, as both sides seek changes that would boost their exports. European Union foreign ministers meet on Monday to try to agree on further sanctions on Russia and Iran and an additional $2.11 billion for arms deliveries to Ukraine. An international team of legal advisers has been working with local prosecutors in Ukraine's recaptured city of Kherson in recent days as they gather evidence of alleged sexual crimes by Russian forces.